Hey everybody, Hillman here. Hope everybody's doing okay. Been a few weeks since I made a video and uh, I've got a pretty good excuse. You've always got an excuse. That's just the way you are. Unreliable. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. But, uh, uh, and Tuesday afternoon, got home from work, did a few things around the house, and now I'm sitting outside. Uh, my wife texted me and said she's probably going to have to work late tonight. So I thought I'd come out here and make a YouTube video and enjoy a cigar and a brewski. I'm smoking a diesel, unlimited D Perfecto. It's an excellent cigar. I've said it before on these. This, this is one of my favorite cigars. And uh, it's very, very good. Not a fan of torpedoes or perfectos for that matter. Uh, just because of the taper, it can cause a lot of problems with the uh, draw and stuff. But uh, I got these for dirt cheap. It's one of my favorite cigars. Why the hell not? And uh, you can see probably about a half inch there, three quarters of an inch, and it opened right up. It goes up to about a 60 up in here, 60 green gauge, and an excellent cigar. And I'm drinking my favorite Oktoberfest, a Shiner Oktoberfest. This is a Marzen style, uh, hints of brown sugar, and uh, some nice underlying uh, caramel and vanilla underneath it goes really well with the uh, chocolate and coffee notes that are in this cigar. It's a good pairing for this time of year, although it's like 90 degrees. But this morning it was like 64 when I got up. It was awesome this morning. Got up to like 90, I think it's like 90 or 91 right now. And there's a breeze blowing. You can probably see the trees behind me here flickering in the wind. So if there's a lot of wind noise on this video, I shot a try to I shot a video over the weekend, and uh, we had a cold front move through, and it was so windy I couldn't barely hear anything out of it. So <clears throat> I canned it, and so I thought I'd come out here and try to make one today. But here it is. It's supposed to be windy all week, but I don't think I make a video without any wind noise. Very very rare. <laughs> So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I ruptured my right eardrum. Uh, don't know how it happened. Uh, didn't feel it when it happened. And I uh, went to the doctor and the doctor sent me to an ear specialist. And the ear specialist couldn't believe that I didn't feel it just because of the state of the damage inside my ear. But uh, I tried to make this really brief to tell you how I realized it. We were sitting watching TV a couple weekends ago, sitting on the couch, and uh, just watching TV, and I felt something wet on my neck. I went with a hand like this, and there was blood all over my hand. I went and asked my wife, I said, hey, do I have a scratch or something on my neck? And she said, no, but you got blood coming out of your ear, like you got a nosebleed. So, didn't really bother me that night. I finally got it to stop bleeding. Uh, Got woke up in the middle of the night with a horrible, horrible buzzing in my ear, uh, a lot of pain, and bleeding. <laughs> so uh, Monday morning, that Monday, I called the doctor and I told him, said, hey, I'm bleeding out of my ear. They said, can you be here at this time? I went in, he took one look at and says, I'm calling an ear specialist. So I knew then that it was probably not uh, gonna be good news anyway. So I went and saw the ear specialist the same day. Uh, he said, uh, and I've had trouble hearing anyway. And, uh, actually, that's a whole nother story with the VA and all that, but uh, I had trouble hearing and predominantly it was service related. I noticed it a couple of years after I got out of the military that I was having a hard time hearing. And uh, he looked in this ear into my, and before he even said anything, the doctor said, he goes, have you had trouble hearing out of your, have you had trouble hearing before this happened? And I'm like, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, he looked in my ear with a microscope and uh, there was swelling and stuff. And 
Uh, he said, yeah, you've got, you've got some serious damage here. That's a serious rupture. The lining of my ear canal tore out from the eardrum. So, and there's a lot of blood and stuff in there. He goes, but that amount of damage is, looks like the kind of damage he gets from somebody that's had an ear infection for an extended amount of time and never took care of it. He goes, but he says, this is crazy. He says, you have no sign of infection whatsoever. He goes, I can't explain it. He goes, you just must have been sub, you know, subjugated to a crap load of heavy noise. And I said, oh, yeah, I, and I get it at work. And, uh, but uh, he looked, when I went back for a follow-up, he looked in this ear, and he said he could see a lot of damage in this ear. And I said, well, does that mean that this one's going to rupture too? And he was like, well, I don't think so. But I will tell you that I think the hearing loss in your right ear is going to be permanent. And I can't hear anything out of this ear. I am completely, if I go like this and just plug up this ear, I can't hear nothing. The TV, conversation, nothing. And uh, any loud noise, even now, any loud noise, uh, it just causes excruciating pain. Not as bad as it was last week, a few days, and it's, uh, it's gotten better. But the hearing, I can't. I still can't hear out of it, and I have pain. And if it's a really loud noise, then I get some pain. And she's eating a pecan. Neighbors' trees are dropping pecans, and uh, our old dog used to love pecans. He'd dig up pecans and chew them up. And I don't know, I don't know what it is, but she found one, and now every time she just she will search the ground like a pig looking for a truffle, trying to find a, a dead gum pecan and she'll eat them till they're gone. Can't be good for you. So I've got a hearing test scheduled on October the 9th. Uh, they're going to do a hearing test to see where I'm at. Uh, he said another 30 to 40 days out from that. They're going to do another hearing test just to compare it to the one that I'm going to have uh, next month. And uh, he told me, he says, you're not coming out of this with hear without hearing aids. So I will be wearing hearing aids probably within the next month or two months. I will be having hearing, I will have hearing aids. And so I'm not looking forward to spending that kind of money, I can tell you. But I just want to be able to hear. Uh, a guy I work with has hearing aids. He has Bluetooth. He can answer his phone on his hearing aid. Technology is a marvelous thing. I don't care if it's behind the ear. I don't care if it's ugly. I don't care if it's inexpensive. Well, I do care if it's inexpensive, but I do not have to have the latest, greatest model. Just give me something that I can hear with, and uh, I'll be set. And uh, that's all I need. So I don't know how it happened. Apparently, I had damage, and it's probably been sitting there for a while like a time bomb waiting to go off, and it finally went off. So that's what I've been putting up with for the, uh, a couple of weeks. And uh, hopefully a couple of months from now, everything's going to be all hunky-dory and I'll be able to hear. What are you doing? You're a looney tune. <laughs> you got to love dogs. Oh, a story about Trixie. Our old dog, I'd said it before, that uh, he would chase a cat, but if the cat, like, turned around on him, like it was going to box him or something, he would run off and bark. Her, the other night, I walked, took her outside to go to the bathroom, and uh, a cat went out from underneath the barbecue grill that's right here, and underneath, they'll go and run underneath my tool shed. Well, this cat took off, and Trixie, from the deck, caught that cat by the tail as it was going underneath the tool shed and just romped down on that tail. And that cat was pitching a fit and man, Trixie went to shaking that cat's tail like this and that cat was losing its mind. It was so funny. And she just had a big old mouthful of fur. It was hilarious. I imagine that cat thought, that is not the same dog that they used to have. She got another pecan. <laughs> So anyway, that's where I've been. I'm way behind on uh, on uh, videos, watching videos, and I've watched some. I've commented a couple of times, 
but uh, I apologize for not uh, staying current, as they say. And I'll catch back up. I promise. Hmm. Good stuff. And here comes the wind. So really, that's about all that's going on with me. Uh, just waiting for fall. I love fall when it starts to get off. What? Uh, get off? That's nasty. Why would you say something like that? That's nasty. <laughs> uh, cooler in the morning when it's like in the upper 50s, low 60s. And then the afternoons are like in the 70s, mid to upper 70s. I love fall weather. That is disc golf, that is disc golf weather. And you will find me leaving work and heading to the disc golf course that's only like about two miles from my work. Of course, I have one here right here in my backyard that's only like two blocks away. But uh, they're having, it's football season, so they're doing a lot of football stuff. And they will, and the band, actually the, what do you call it, the flag girls that do the flags. They don't have twirlers, they got flag girls. And they'll go on to the disc, into the city park that's got the disc golf course, and they will do their flag practicing and stuff. And so it's sort of high, hard to go there. I can go there on the weekend, which is no biggie. And uh, we're fixing to start taking her for long walks. They have a big, long walking track, so the wife's going to walk her, and I'm going to throw discs and lose some weight. <laughs> I'm five foot ten. You can tell that I'm hunched over. Arthritis is eating up my back, but I am hunched over, so I'm probably only like about, what did I say, five ten? If I stand up straight, probably about five eight. Uh, when I'm bent over and I weigh 190 something pounds and according to the doctor I'm like 30 pounds overweight I should be weighing in the 160 mid 160s to 170 I like burritos I like barbecue I like fried things I'm gonna eat fried things I'm an old man I'll eat what the hell I want <laughs> But my blood pressure, my cholesterol I had checked was 66, which is really, really good. Uh, and uh, my blood pressure, when I went and got checked, I had it checked twice. Uh, one day it was 120 over 80, and, the, and then the next day when I went, it was 118 over 80. So I got good blood pressure. Of course, I got stents keeping my arteries, um, <laughs> my arteries open. Uh, so that blood can get through there, but uh, technology again keeps the old blood moving. <laughs> and since my last video, I think I've gotten like about 12 or probably 12, 15 new subscribers. So you guys that are new, that are new subscribers to me, thank you very much for subbing. I appreciate you watching, I appreciate you commenting, and uh, love seeing new people come on to YouTube. I've seen some new people join the pipe community. Yes, you hadn't seen me smoking a pipe in a while. I'm on a cigar kick, I've said it before. Spring and summer cigars, fall and winter pipes. So, I'll be cranking them out. I ordered uh, Zach, uh, the pipe smoking bloke uh, is all big up on uh, Dunhill's Baby Bottom. I bought, uh, ordered some of that, a tin of that to try. Not a big Latakia fan, but he says that it's not real strong Latakia. The Virginia is more predominant, so I'm going to try it. And I also uh, ordered a tin of uh, a bat and a hat uh, based on just uh, Jason Dagner likes it a lot. So I thought I'd try it, and uh, one and a half ounce tin is a lot more expensive than a lot of other blends. But hey, I'll try something. Might be in, and might be something I really, really enjoy. Although it has burley in it, so I don't know. But 
you never, you can't tell you that you can't say that you don't like something if you've never tried it more than once. <laughs> These guys that are like, I smoked a half a bowl of it and it sucks. Well, did you let it sit for a little while, jar it up, let it sit for a couple of months and try it again? Might mellow out a little bit, too strong, you know. It, uh, tricks of the trade, I guess, I don't know. This is going to end up being a long-winded freaking mess, probably up to about 15, 16 minutes now, which is ridiculous. I swore I don't know how many videos ago that I was going to start getting them down to about 10 minutes. And here comes another breeze. Like a Japanese movie. Anyway, guys, that's it. Just wanted to get you caught up, make a quick video. And I hope you guys, uh, the rest of your week is it goes the way that you want it to. hope this you have a great weekend this weekend. No holidays coming up. I think next holiday is what? Thanksgiving? There goes my 30 pounds that I'm going to lose. <laughs> oh, boy. I love Thanksgiving. <laughs> but uh, anyway, have, you guys have a great weekend. Just keep on making videos. I'll catch up eventually. I hope next week finds you blessed as always. Until we share another stick, another brew together. Peace.